Virgin Interactive Entertainment presents... I have need of a champion. Who among you will volunteer to serve me in this matter? There we go. That'll work. Well, have you decided? All right, we are looking at Lands of Lore, The Throne of Chaos. It's an early Westwood Studios game. I don't remember, I don't know if anybody knows any games that came out of well, the studio, but have you it had some of the better RPGs and strategy games that were ever released. Lands of Lore is decidedly one of my favorite dungeon crawlers. This came after... Uh, let me think here. Well, have you decided... Things like Dungeon Master, uh, Eye of the Beholder, things like that. So, this is definitely an excellent, excellent game. Alright, so basically what we have here is we have to choose one of four different champions, and this will be our character that we play through the entire game. Uh, you have Axel, who is a, uh, like half dragon, half man. As you can see, he has a lot of magic potential compared to the other guys, but he can barely pick up a dagger. So. He usually gets killed in like one hit, so you have to be really careful with him. Well, have you decided? Oh, I'm going, I'm going. Jeez, Patrick Stewart. Uh, we've got Michael here. He's very, very powerful. Good defense, good offense, but he can only cast Spark like once and then all of his magic's gone. So, doesn't really work too well that way. Uh, but he can well, definitely put the smack down. Decided? Kieran, he's a cat. It doesn't show you any of his stats, so you think he's just a piece of crap. And he kind of is. He can cast almost no magic, he can stab like nobody, and he really gets killed in like one hit. But uh, he's very agile, well, and when we get into the game you'll see. Yeah, right, very pushy. Uh, when you get into the game you'll see he has a couple of other stats, his agility, which is... It's not really factored directly in the gameplay as much, but you can sneak past people sometimes, or lockpick stuff, well, so... Have you decided? I'm going, I'm going. And then, of course, you got Conrad. I'm going to choose Conrad because I always choose Conrad for some reason. Uh, he's kind of the jack of all trades. And we'll get to hear a little bit from him. I'm the most well-rounded champion for your cause. Face it, with all the dangers in the land, you need someone with my adaptability. Actually, let's go ahead and hear the other guys, too. I forgot. I, I used to play on the old DOS diskette version, so we didn't have the digitized voices. <laughs> Do my looks frighten you? Ugh, Magic yeah. runs strong amongst my people. I may not seem as strong as the others, but I'm not. more adept with the magic of the lands. Ugh. Let's not have any fooling around here. Strong is strong. Trust your instincts on this one. I'm the best fighter in the bunch. A natural. Yeah, natural, and you can cast heal like no, none times. Because none times is the it's proper the amount. Magic. <laughs> what good is it all if you can't dodge blows? I'm fast. Quick. Go with these lodestones if you plan to plot along. But if you want to win this quest, better pick me. He fails to mention that if you pick him, it's actually going with hard mode. Because you won't be able to do anything in this game. You'll get killed almost instantly. Until you finally get some of the better other characters to play with. So let's go ahead and we'll go with Conrad. He's easiest in a way because he's just he's well-rounded. We'll be able to do a lot. So let's do that way. I'm the most well-rounded champion for your cause. Excellent. Settle your affairs and attend me in the throne room for instructions. All right. Welcome to Gladstone Keep. King Richard awaits you in the throne room. You know, it was almost better when you didn't have voice acting. Because it's kind of terrible. But hey, you know, I won't complain. Uh, so this is the game screen. You'll notice it's pretty typical to most uh, dungeon crawlers. You have your character portrait, so you can do your stuff here. This is your inventory. Right-clicking will go through like a bunch of it. Left-clicking will go through like one. You can have movements. I'm going to probably be using a combination of the mouse pad. Or the keypad. As well as uh, the, the actually on-screen one. Over here, these are our crowns. That's money, in case you didn't, you didn't get it. 
Uh, we have we can rest to restore our health here. We can save and do a bunch of cool stuff. Let's save this game. Because, you know, if you don't, you know, you have to have it all organized. Uh, Right-clicking your dude will, well, left-clicking apparently now, uh, you'll bring up your stats. So you can see fighter, rogue, mage. This, as you do things, you'll actually gain levels and it'll make your character better in those particular fields. Uh, as you see here, if you right-click stuff, you can see what it is. So I'm wearing a shirt, some sandals, and a dagger. And this is our stats over here, so... You know, of course the goal is to get it as high as possible. As we go through the game, we'll find other items. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive straight into Gladstone Keep. Conrad, were you not summoned to see the king? Oh, Go yeah. back straight north and to the throne room. Oh, right, because I know exactly which way north is. Uh, ooh, a window. The forest below appears tranquil. How how can you tell? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Let's see here. The hidden plumbing seems miraculous. Yep, hidden plumbing. Miraculous. Tapestries bring some warmth to the keep. Fine swords, impressive decorations. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I wonder if I... Shut Ow! Too. Let's take a nap here on the floor. Victor Glaston, Royal Armorer. Armorer. Nice. Maybe we could take a second take on those uh, fucking lines. The forest below appears tranquil. Still don't know how you can see that. His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. Okay, so clicking on them doesn't do anything. Let's take a look around. Richard's great grandfather Ludwig. That it, Ludwig? The early Talamari were mounted warriors. The kingdom looks deceptively peaceful. Deceptively? We like what's going on? An ornate lock. You know, I won't lie, it was a lot better when every description actually went to my little window here, instead of just vocal. His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. Yeah, I know, I was already here, you guys... Jeez, it's gone for a moment. I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? Eric is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Conrad. So Because of the threat from Scotia, I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Please retrieve it from Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the keep. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. Alright, cool. Man, they're quick. Aha, uh -huh, for the ornate lock I found earlier. And so it came to pass that the ancient people of Gladstone, having discovered a method of controlling the magics, rose unto power amongst the barbarous tribes of the Great Wasteland. Hmm. 
For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Never drink from underground waters. These will corrupt the heart and taint the mind. Many a twisted soul met its fate through unwise drinking. I guess he has a point. I don't know. Kind of interesting to hear Patrick Stewart tell me all these fables and stuff. Moral stories. Ah, the, the Atlas. Atlas. Or better known as the goddamn map. That's one thing that always really sucked about a lot of these old games is that they didn't auto map for you. You actually had to draw your own fucking maps. Have you found the Ruby of Truth? Yeah, I got like ten. I have additional questions for His Majesty. You are not to be admitted without the Ruby. Fuck. Man, that guy is strict. Ooh. No, I just have wanted to found the Ruby of Truth. Wanted to look at the tapestry. I have additional questions for His Majesty. You are not to be admitted without the Ruby. Richard's battle banners await the call. Richard's battle banners await the call. All right. I actually know my way around this castle way too well. All right. Jaren Arborath, Royal Chamberlain. It's a real asshole, if you ask me. Look at him. Oh, it's you. Yeah, the see? The storm attracts all you would-be heroes. Now... I suppose you want your writ. What do you mean all of us would be heroes? How many are there? Oh great, and it's Scotia, and you don't even know it yet. Seek shelter. If I want you to touch something of mine, I'll ask you. Like you did last night. Oh. If you need help, mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. That rascal Timothy, huh? Uh, let's take a peek here. Oh, so you come to see Victor, afraid of Scorcher's new toy. Ha ha ha, why afraid? Look at Victor, myself could use a shape changer. Ha 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 You show Victor what you want to buy. Maybe you show Victor what you sell, okay? God, this takes way too long in the talking version. So you can hit, like, next back then. What is this? It's a sword mop. It's a sword mop. Oh, unless that's just his pants. But look how it, it goes into the pommel of the sword. It's a sword mop. I have no faith in you. You again come visit, no? No. Next time I want a fucking mace broom, I'll be back. What? Shh. what? Did you hear something? If Scotia does attack, they say we won't hear a thing. Quickly now, point out what you need. Really? Uh, how much is that? That salve is a secret Gorka recipe for healing. That What's is a Torka crown donation. So I'm off to go save the world, and you're not even gonna give me some healing potions? I already got one, so. Farewell fuck you. then. Oh, the Northland Forest. So yeah, it's really nice. It actually color codes stuff that's important. You know where to go. You can also shift between the different keep or the different maps, but you really don't need to do that too often. In fact, I don't think I've ever done that before, except to find something on another map. Well, obviously, never mind. So we'll do some. Ooh, yeah. Oh fuck. So I like to open up with a spark attack. Wow. Always sleep. So then you noticed my mage went up just a little bit. Not oh, there's a bandit there. Oh. This 
warm. Those are kind of cool little magic items. So. <laughs> okay, sounds good, Pixel Pink. I'll try to to look over every so often. Ah! Hey you! I'm taking your money. Fuck you! You are. You won't get my money without a fight. Yeah, you won't get my money without a fight. Oh, that's a bad idea. So now I just gotta keep mashing dagger. And we're sleeping. It's fun. It's like another boar. Fuck yeah, rock. The nest is empty. Yeah. Some nests actually have shit in them, which I don't get. <sighs> Why are thugs guarding that cave? So you notice you have like the sneak option. This is where Kieran would come in handy because if Kieran were here, he could sneak by no problem. And then, you know, it'd be fine. So, uh, I'm just gonna. Man, fuck hey, him. Get out of here! Yay! Get out of here! So you can. If you. You can throw daggers and rocks and shit by going like that. I don't have enough magic. I'm not. Just throw a damn dagger. There we go. So. Okay, cool. So I'm actually getting some experience here. Every once in a while you'll level up, and, you know, like if you level up your mage, you'll get more magic, you can do more abilities. The magic system really expands later in the game, after probably another 45 minutes or so, so. Once you get the next spell, you'll notice. Oh, it's a spooky cave. Ooh, there are silver coins in here. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Hot dog, two coins. Oh, a lantern. Very cool, very... You'll be using lanterns a lot. Like, I picked these up. They're actually not any better, so that would... Wow, that's really shitty. Eight might. It's three better than just punching somebody, really? How blunt is that dagger? Maybe just a small hole in the shirt. Alright. Ah, yes. Environmental puzzles. Oh, what is that? Ooh. A thug's key. What is it? it crumbled to dust. You'll see those every once in a while, too. There are silver coins in here. Sounds so excited. It's kind of adorable. It crumbled to dust. There are silver coins in here. Hot shit. I found eight coins so far. I am on fire. So you have to... Environmental puzzles. You gotta love them. Oh, this one is different. Uh... Also, like, let's say you didn't see that. You could click your map. And you notice it says button lever. So you can actually kind of figure it out even if you didn't notice. So if you check your map every once in a while, it'll still point out these little things to you. And the poke. Excellent. Now what's really cool is you can actually beat the crap out of these chests or you can open it with a key. Obviously, if you open it with a key, you get all the content. Sometimes if you bust the chest open, you don't get as much. But if you can't find the key... Speaking of, lockpicks. Bezel cups, they do some restorations. You know how many restorations you have by how many bezels are in the cup. Ten crowns. Hmm. Empty. And if you're pissed because it's empty, fuck you. Uh, I think that's all for this place. 
you know, you never know when you need rocks, so. Plus, we don't have anything else. Let's get out of here before more of my oil goes down. You'll find more oil flasks as you go on. No time to make mud pies now. I kind of wonder what kind of childhood this guy has. Making mud pies. Going around beating up pigs and thugs. And isn't this like the heartland of the kingdom of Gladstone? Why are there thugs just chilling like right outside the castle? Like, come on, guys. There are silver coins in here. The nest is empty. Is, is that a Pseudobushia hugiflora? Pseudowata had a water? Mm. Lake Dread is much too cold for swimming this time of year. What time of year is it, by the way? Hmm. Oh, hey. A beautiful young woman What's up? on a road like this. Excuse me, lad. Are you with King Richard? Yeah, I think I can I see them all. Get into all the, the followers. I have forgotten the password. May I go in with you? No, I'm not Scotia. Sorry, miss, but these are dangerous times. Timid fool. I will not forget, forget you. you. Huh. Okay, that was kind of spooky. Alright. Excuse me. I need to book passage to the Southland. Where's your money? I have a writ from the king. Where is it? That's the last cretin who bothered me. Why is everybody so rude in this goddamn kingdom? All right, well, let's see here. Is this net for sale? Not to you. Ah, oh, what? I suppose you'll want to steer the boat, too. You know what, fuck you, here's well, your writ. then, hurry and get on the boat. Can't you be nice? 